What's up, everybody? Jason here with jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's release day. I know it's a little early. Actually, a little little past noon Eastern, but 9.40 here in uh, the Pacific over here in Los Angeles. We are doing our first break of the new release night, 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12-box hobby case break, number one, pick your teams. We're also having a $100 uh, break credit giveaway. So at the end of the break, all you had to do would to be entered was to buy two teams and get a spot, uh, one entry into the $100 break credit giveaway. You bought four teams, you get two entries. You buy six, you get three entries, etc. So for every two, you get one entry. Uh, so at the end of the break, we'll uh, do the randomizer for those and give away those break credit codes for every break. And let's switch scenes really quick. There you go. This is Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box hobby case break number one. Pick your teams. There you go. Looks like Daniel got Pirates last bomb mojo. Boom, boom. And then here's the hobby case. Again, uh, the break schedule is hobby one, hobby two, hobby three. And then we'll go on with um, flawless random hits. So good luck. I'm live now till about when Joe gets here at two o'clock. So you guys have me for about the next four, four and a half hours. So hopefully within those four hours, I at least get these three picker teams done. Little nice big postcard poster I mean and uh, that way when Joe does get here you know it's kind of a little lighter for him and more more time to break for all of us we're breaking for pretty much over 12 hours today so it's gonna be fun you don't have picture maybe refresh Rory Or is it just me, maybe? Hold on, give me one second. Let's see. Looks like it's not, it's privacy. Everything looks good on my side. It's on public, so yeah, maybe just refresh, Rory. Unless that's not what you meant. There you go. There's all the twelve boxes. You guys can see them right there. Boom, boom. So I'm gonna rip open actually a couple boxes at a time. And again, uh, you know, you're gonna hear a little banging noise. Uh, you know, people working on the roof are here early. Of course, try to get all this done before we start our streams around 2 or 3 o'clock. But since it's release day, we're starting early. Um, kind of forgot that they were going to be here today. So uh, if it does get a little too loud here, um, you know, I'll make sure to maybe lower down my mic so you guys don't hear too much of a banging sound. Because this microphone is really, really nice. So it'll pick up anything. So hopefully. It's not too bad, and I'm sure by the time Joe gets here, uh, we should be good. Uh, yes, Roar, you do have the Brewers in this one. This is number one, so yeah, I have you. I see your name right here, man. So yeah, this is number one. I didn't, I didn't go through orders this morning. <laughs> There's like 40 orders, and I just kind of wanted to jump on uh, and just start breaking. So just bear with me after I'm done with uh, pick your teams number one and two. I'll probably have to go through some orders and catch up. And yeah, banging noise is starting to get a little too loud, but you guys let me know if it's really, really, really loud. I'm gonna lower down my mic just a little bit. So again, this is 2019 Bowman Chrome. You get two Chrome autographs in each uh, box, one in each mini box. just a little bit <clears throat> so yeah remember guys it's, you're gonna hear a little banging noise but it's something we can't really control but maybe just lower down your mic at the end of your side <laughs> just watch the packs be ripped
Roman Chrome 2019. So Daniel got last ball mojo, got the Pirates. And we appreciate you guys selling out some of these breaks as early as like last Friday and Saturday. Um, always a highly anticipated release. Everybody loves Bowman baseball. So Chrome is just that much better because you don't have to worry about the paper base. And then of course people love, I mean people that love base cards are going to love Bowman Chrome, obviously the Chrome cards, but people that don't like the hour long breaks, 45 minute breaks of this stuff. They're gonna love HTA, of course, Jumbo, which you know they've configured it where it's just legit autographs, no base cards. <laughs> so those breaks are legit, like quick 10 15 minutes tops. But I don't actually mind breaks like this, it's actually fun because we don't really get too many of these nowadays, especially with all the new products that come out. and Usually just kind of lighter base, not too much base. So I kind of like cherish these moments ripping these packs. It's always fun. So remember guys, Hobby 1 is going to go off first, then Hobby 2, then Hobby 3, and then Flawless Random Hit number 1. After Hobby 2, I may have to go through some orders to see who sold out Pick Your Team number 3. But other than that... Um, I have a little intermission. <laughs> Not really super fractor autos, but just pretty much all the color autos you see in Bowman Chrome. They're just there's just no no base. But I don't know. I don't think one is I don't think one is better than the other per se. Like there's one exclusive in each one. I, I know obviously retail and hobby is usually different. But there's always some nice stuff in HTA as well as Hobby. And the only thing HTA is you get more autographs per box, but it's more expensive. So Javier, uh, Wander Javier to 99. So I'm just going to penny sleeve these in the interest of time, of course. And then we'll have a little hit recap at the end of the break. First autograph is for the Texas Rangers. There you go. Yes, Big Rig, this is case number one. Oh, have you really? Yeah. Alrighty. So yeah, guys, if, it, if, this, if I feel like the sound is getting a little too loud, please let me know as well. But I suggest, of course, you know, you guys lower down your mic just a little bit, as I will my volume. Um, you know, there's really nothing we can do from stopping them from working. They got to get their work done. Joey Bart. There you go. And for the Yankees, uh, Garcia to 250. So, yeah, by the time Joe comes in, uh, this should be almost done with their day but of course coming in early and breaking means that we had to uh <laughs> had to uh have deal with at least the volume of me yankees number one prospect really nice daniel with that one got the yankees well, there you go we got a gold look at that chris yelich unfortunately i didn't actually see his injury i just heard it from joe and people in the chat but kind of unfortunate right there 18 to 50 milwaukee there you go roar and yeah, baseball's not my strong suit. I'm more football and hockey for sure. But not that I don't enjoy watching baseball. It's just kind of like Joe. Don't invest like too much into the prospects as much. And Tyler Phillips for Texas Bowman's first. So Texas off with a couple autographs so far. Texas Rangers, Josh Bruce. And again, every video will have a recap at the end of the video, so... In case you can't watch these hour-long breaks, do not worry. Mike Miklas to 250, purple. 
for St. Louis. Little shimmer. So I'm, I'm assuming these shimmers are actually just one per box. So I don't really need to penny sleeve them. Duran for the Twins. And a little Vlad, rookie. Actually, I might turn this just a little bit. Maybe be a little bit more light. At least my face would be a little bit more shiny, but don't want the cards to look a little too bad. All right, here we go. Next box, box three. Phillies, Spencer Howard to 250. And Astudillo, rookie for the Twins. There you go. All right. Should have one more autograph here. And there you go, Houston Astros. Christian Javier. That was a Bowman's first. So Houston Astros with that one. Jeremy Tillman. Four ninety nine. Ian Kinsler. Padres. All right, cool done with boxes uh three boxes so hey again these bowman chrome breaks won't take me super long but you know they'll take a little bit so i think i should be done with the three and all those other breaks well before like one o'clock so you know continue to sell out those hobbies guys you know and any break on the website of course There you go. Let's go with the next boxes. What's up, Jarhead? What's going on, man? So again, this is Hobby. Uh, hobby Picker Team number one, guys. And I, I'll keep reiterating it throughout the, the stream because you guys might, some people might come in and be like, what is that noise? You know, there's people working on the roof fixing some things. Um, so they come as early as, as I'm streaming. So that way, by the time we stream at 2, 3 o'clock, um, you know, there's not too much noise, but... Obviously, for uh, release day, we started a little early, so kind of forgot about that. So uh, I did lower down my mic just a little bit. This mic is obviously really good, so it's going to pick up all the banging noises. And I'm sure you guys will still be hearing all the banging noises, but hopefully it's a little bearable. And again, if it's a little too loud, if you're at work and you, know, you don't want to just have your banging noise in your headphones or whatnot, obviously, I'm sure... I've done it in the past when I was like at a different job, just watching breaks, just kind of watch it but not listen to it. So that'd definitely be probably the best time. But if it's bearable for you guys, not too bad. I have all the doors closed in every room, so I think that kind of helps. But I think they're going to start moving towards over our office. So if that does happen, I'm going to lower it down just a little bit so that way you guys can't really get phased through it. And again, just watch the recaps. Hopefully the recaps are just much easier. Now we don't have to worry about that. I know, Eric Bay, this is eggs and breaks with Jaspies, I know. If you're over here on the West Coast, obviously, it's only 9.55, about to be 10 o'clock in the morning. If you're in the East Coast, you're already looking at lunch, right? Lunchtime. It's already about to be 1 o'clock. And I'm going to rip open four boxes this time. Chilling, waiting on some Uber trips. Nice. Yeah. I know we have a couple, uh, couple police officers as a, as customers, and obviously, you know, sometimes, kind of just chilling, waiting for, waiting for somebody to get a ticket or something, violate something. So, they're usually kind of just chilling in their car sometimes, like, oh, on the clock, but just chilling, right, watching these breaks. 
until getting called in. That's usually what we all do. How's it going, everybody? Good morning. Good afternoon, of course, if you're in the East Coast. But good morning if you're here in the West Coast. AJ, what's up, man? So remember, this is Hobby PYT uh, number one. We're going to go one, two, three, back to back to back. And then obviously go with flawless random hit. After pick your team number two, though, I'm probably going to have to go through some orders. Uh, so we'll have a little, like, maybe 10, 15 minute window. Not too many rows to go through right now, only 34, but still going to take me about 10 minutes to go through them. And again, I'm live here till 2 o'clock. Uh, once 2 o'clock gets here, Joe should be here. He'll take over and rock and roll from 2 to 10, his normal 8 hours. So we're pretty much streaming for about 12 hours today, guys. Trying to just fill up and, you know, get as much Bowman Chrome, Flawless, XR done as possible. And, you know, this may be a new thing, too, you know, if it does well. A lot of people like to watch and break early. You know, we may extend our breaking hours, you know, especially when the store's open, you know. When the store is open, guys, you know, we may have personal blocks time, you know, during the day before Joe goes on. Stuff like that so definitely if breaks are sold out we can definitely start as early as you know 9 10 o'clock here in the west coast and i think for new releases like bowman chrome it's definitely going to be kind of a normal thing just just because you don't want to get a head start you know if, I, if it was just joe breaking this that'd be awesome right and of course joe number one breaker but at the same time it'd be so backed up you know his day would be over before it even started. <laughs> Just imagine that, guys. You know, he comes in at two, right? No, no breaking a little earlier to kind of help out. And let's say hobby one, two, three, four, five, six is sold out. Well, you know how it is. He'd be like, "Hey, man, I'm I'm done. <laughs> like I'm booked for the night." So definitely much better this way. At least that way, you know, these cases get opened up throughout the whole day. And hopefully, I can pull some fire for you guys as well. I was doing some finest baseball yesterday. 2018 and what a last two boxes nice Walker Bueller rookie autographs 99 green and then the last box for the Angels on uh, orange out of 25 Shohei Otani rookie autograph and finest on eBay so that was pretty awesome and somebody got the Angels for a very small fraction of the price since they were two box breaks so they were split up in four breaks so that was that was pretty cool Yeah, what's up, AJ? I don't know if I said what's up to you already, but what's up, man? Yeah, that was pretty good, John. Yeah, and I know you said you wanted to get the Angels, which, of course, with that Otani coming out, Gregory Soto, Detroit. Obviously, that kind of hurts just a little bit. But hey, you know, yeah, for like a mistake, uh, Walker Bueller ain't too bad. We have to uh, 50, Bo Bichetti. Little gold shimmer. Blue Jays. Yeah, not, a, not bad at all. Uh, James Bork, Washington Nationals. Keith with the Nationals. We got a green to 99, Justice Sheffield. Spencer Howard. Phillies. And another one for the Phillies, Cole Urban. Bowman Chrome autograph. DMAC with the Phillies.
What is this? Elite Fram Hands, Joey Vart. Just a little insert. All right, next box, guys. A little purple shimmer. Royals. Carlos Hernandez. Oh, yeah, John. Uh, I believe... I mean, we used to do it at our old shop. It just kind of got a little too overwhelming with us having a small store and, you know, couldn't really keep up with it as we were still trying to continue to grow. But yeah, uh, for sure, uh, I think that's definitely going to be something we're definitely going to be doing, you know, like, kind of like a once a month type of thing, you know, you kind of just, uh, you know, if you're, you're a walking customer once a month, you kind of just drop off your card, submit them with us, turn around and definitely with customers online as well. So yeah, I think that's definitely going to be something that we're definitely going to do in the future. I just obviously have no idea when I think our store number one part is just getting the grand opening done. And then definitely, what? No. Uh, Patrick Sandoval to two uh, four ninety nine. But yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll keep it. Well, everybody obviously, you guys will find out soon if that is something we do. But I expect us to. Garcia Bowman's first. Rory said earlier this guy was the number one prospect for the Yankees. There you go. I don't know about best pool yet, but I guess this guy Garcia to two fifty maybe number one prospect I'm not too fond with the new prospects and stuff like that I don't really pay attention too much into it but obviously there's still rookie autographs we can get out of here but I guess you guys will tell me <laughs> as you guys are watching what's a good hit or what's not a good hit Victor Victor Mesa next box little shimmer okay and look at that for the Cubs Marquez 41 of 50 Bowman's first gold very nice and that is a uh, Braylon Marquez Cubs it's going to Rex ah there you go Rex they'll never say I don't hit nothing for you <laughs> Four ninety nine Blue Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Refractor. Oh, Chris, man, honestly, I forgot about like the people working on the roof, so it's gonna be a little noisy here throughout till two o'clock. I honestly was talking to my wife last night. I was like, man, I'd be down to come in like at five in the morning, cause like, you know, I've seen other people break as early as like five a.m. our time, you know, Eastern over there like eight in the morning. I was like, why not? But no, she's like, no. <laughs> That's a little too early. So, I had to settle for coming in around 9 o'clock. But I almost did it. I kind of wanted to. Reds. Bowman Chrome autograph. Why not, man? Break 24 hours a day, right? Yeah, I'm also still breaking Sunday. Yeah, I'm not taking any days off. Uh, I'll be gone, of course, in two weeks. I'll be taking Sunday and Monday off when I go to the Eagles game against the Jets. But other than that, yeah, I'm, I'll be here on Sunday, Monday. You know, I'll get Saturday off and Friday off this week. Friday, Saturday off, my normal two days off, but back on Sunday again. Close time for the Blue Jays. Oh, no problem, Chris. Yeah, you know, I... You know, I, I appreciate every customer, you know, no matter how much you spend. You know what I mean? I appreciate everything. So I always like to give back as much as possible. And, you know, that, that, that gift gave, you know, really personally for me. So, you know, definitely, uh, you know, wanted to give you guys back because I really want the hockey to grow here again. You know, a lot of a lot of people don't realize, you know, that we used to do a lot of hockey breaks back in the day, had our own separate channel. So now that we're going to get our upper deck license back. I definitely want to uh, want to uh, get you guys riled up, and, you know, and I'll be doing that throughout the year. You know what I mean? I won't just be this one time. And I'm sure, like as you guys know, Campusiano for the Mets. It's gonna be whoa! Look at that, 
Rookie autograph, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., 16 out of 50 gold. Toronto Blue Jays going to Kyle. Damn, forgot my horn, my siren in my office. Look at that. Beautiful. Good way to start off the day. Boom. And yes, uh, Wrigley Bates, this is break number one, and it looks like there's five boxes left. There you go. I still got the Eagles, AJ. I'm very confident they can beat your Lions, and I'm not saying the Lions are a joker. Though. They're a good team. It's just that I'm just a little nervous because of all the injuries. You're, we're going to be out with Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey and Goddard for like two weeks. So, I mean, that's a big difference, you know what I mean? Aguilar is definitely going to be the number one receiver now. Which, not that he's not capable of it, but obviously you're missing all your star power. But I think being a home game is going to help. But I don't know. Maybe minus seven is a little too much. I Maybe I'd take the Lions and just hope the Eagles win by less than seven. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I hope, I mean, for my set, you know, obviously I'm a big Eagles fan, AJ. If the Eagles win, great. You know, if they don't, hey, what are you going to do about it? I don't expect them to go undefeated. So, but it's gonna be fun though. We'll be able to watch that together unless it's at ten in the morning. If it's a ten in the morning game for me, I'll probably be watching that in bed. But if it starts at one o'clock, uh, I'll definitely be here and probably watching it here at the store. And then I'll go live at two o'clock. So, but it should be fun, man. It should be awesome. Yeah, so I'll probably be watching that at home, AJ. But we'll definitely be able to discuss it, though. If you win, you know, you can come in here and say, yeah, that's right. You know, if I come in, I don't really kind of like to fight, but it'd be something we could talk about. And if, depending if it's a thriller, you know, it's a blowout by either team, uh, then we'll uh, be able to discuss it. Sergeant Squid, what's going on? Um, is XR sold out, actually, is the first question. If XR is not sold out, I have no idea. Um, obviously, we do have a couple breaks sold out. Here's the break schedule for now. Uh, it's probably going to take me about 40 minutes to do each of these hobbies. So, I expect to be done with all the hobby breaks probably by probably closer to 12. Um, so, and then after that, we got to do Flawless. That's a quick hit, quick break. If nothing else sells out before... XR, then yeah, XR would be probably around 1 o'clock maybe. But it's not sold out just yet, so can't really put a time frame on it. If it was sold out, I'd say, hey, it's after a Flawless Random Hit. And it looks like Random Hit number 2 also sold out. So, yeah, XR might be a little bit later tonight. Probably around when Joe gets here. So, but yeah, and it's going to break today though, so no need to worry. If you're just asking more about the time, yeah. Once it sells out, we can kind of give you a better picture of what time it's going to break. Alright guys, here's all the five boxes that are remaining. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, so definitely, you, you haven't, you definitely have some time, man. I'd say you have a couple hours. I'd probably get done with all these breaks by like 12, and then my schedule will be open for the next two hours to see if we do more hobby, uh, we do this and that. Oh, awesome, man, I appreciate it, yeah, well, good luck. Thank you for buying with us and making us your first break. Hopefully it goes well. But yeah, it should it should be soon though. I'd say in a couple hours. I think the best thing to do is if you do have the time while you're out and about, um, you know, um, kind of just stock the website. Once you see it, it's at zero, then maybe pop back in and be like, hey, you know, I see it's at zero. Do you have like a time frame? And then hopefully by then, I'll kind of know like, yeah, after this break, you know, or after this break or stuff like that. I assume so, John, unless it sells out with me. 
I mean, at the same time, you know, obviously I'm not trying to break everything for him, but at the same time, there's a lot of stuff on the website that there's no way that I'll be able to break everything. So I assume he should be doing the dual, the dual case break unless it sells out like now or something. But uh, Wrigley Bates, what's my best pull ever? Well, can't really compete with Joe's 50 player booklet, but uh, I have pulled a couple, uh, three, uh, three Connor McDavid rookie patch autographs back in 2016, um, which at the time those sold for like 15 to 20 thousand dollars for customers. So I made a couple customers very happy. Value-wise, at least, that's my biggest pool. Now those RPAs are like $40,000, which is crazy. But, yeah, here at least, Joe definitely, 50. The, the 50 one is just so amazing. And congrats again, Joe. <laughs> the 50 booklet is just one of a kind, for sure. Uh, Matt, I'm breaking picker team number one right now. All right, Matt, no problem. Uh, AJ say if Kenny doesn't uh, send my Luca RPAs from Opulence in the next four months, what do you think they'll do? Um, I have no idea, man. I, did, did, have you contacted them personally? They said, hey, it's it's gonna get autographed. Because usually, I think they'll be kind of straightforward with you, right? But usually, don't they also give you that option? I've never actually had to like wait so long for a redemption, so I I don't know how the process is, but. I assume they give you a window, right? And then they'll ask you, do you want to continue to wait? Or would you rather have a replacement? But I assume, why wouldn't he be signing them by now? Um, Probably after pick your teams one, two, and three, and flawless number one, at least. Or sorry, I could probably squeeze in a couple of your personal boxes. I think you got personal boxes, right, Matt? I'll make sure. Probably after a couple of pick your teams, at least maybe one through pick your teams one and two. Then I'll do those personal boxes. Because those are pretty quick, so. But right now my schedule is PWT 1, 2, 3, and then Flawless number 1. So if anything, maybe after Flawless number 1, I'll squeeze those in. So I'd say around maybe 12.30. Give it an, like an hour, two hours. There was a lot of people that actually got personal boxes, but a lot of them chose to ship it sealed, so that's why I, I didn't even notice if you chose to break live or not, but yeah, I'll get done with them before Joe, so no need to worry, man. So if you have the time, just kind of chill, watch these breaks, and I'll let you know when, when your time comes around to do some personal boxes. Also, guys, uh, I know there's a lot on the website, but... Um, on eBay, if you guys are interested, I know most of you guys do know, we're doing a five case uh, Bowman Chrome player break. So we're selling them by the player. So that's gonna be fun. Those auctions will be ending tonight and breaking tomorrow. So in the item description, it'll tell you the time, the place, where to watch, and there's a break schedule of which case is gonna get done at what time. So if you're definitely interested, I'll check it out. That's going to be fun tomorrow as well. No eBay for me today, though, but tomorrow eBay. Dodgers. Robinson Ortiz to 99. Oh, you gave it a four-month window, AJ. All right. Yeah, I don't know because that's such a huge hit. I would assume they give you something similar value, or I believe people talked about, like, when it's something really nice, they give you those white boxes, or I think that's what they're called, white boxes. Where like every hit's a one on one. Billy Hamilton a four ninety nine. But yeah, I've never had to really deal with that, so I, I, I definitely wouldn't know. But I assume Panini would take care of you, AJ. Kind of unfortunate you couldn't get that Luca though, but at least not so quickly. But I don't know why he wouldn't be signing those. And we got Bowman's first. Olivia. Are they really? I, I've seen some of those white boxes. They look cool. 
But yeah, there's probably some bad one on ones out there, I'm sure. Hey, you have to have some good, you have to have some bad out there. Not everything can be really good, but yeah. Hopefully, man. Hopefully you get it, though, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, next box. It's a 250, Pete Alonzo. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of an unfortunate thing, you know. Redemptions, but it's going to happen, you know. It's just like stickers, autographs. It's, it's just too hard to get these players to sign on card all the time, so... I think the way Panini at least kind of uh, does the eye black stickers, you know, it's kind of cool because it is a sticker essentially, but you don't think of it too much as a sticker. You know, you kind of disguise the sticker. But, you know, at the same time, especially for these for these athletes that are, you know, not with us anymore, the way to preserve their autographs, besides cut autographs, is, is through stickers, you know? So I don't think stickers will ever get, will ever get rid of. Kind of just have to accept it, but... Um, same thing with redemption cards. It's just a little too tough to get everybody to autograph. Uh, Dwayne Miller to four ninety nine. Bowman's first refractor auto. Padres. But yeah, you know what I mean. It's just hopefully like with the redemptions at least honor the redemption. You know, like at least tell these players if you're not gonna autograph it, then at least you're gonna. Or if you're not gonna, you know, autograph at the time, you're gonna at least fulfill the redemption, you know, within a time frame. Kind of make it part of their contract, you know. Detroit Bowman's first. All right, guys, three more boxes. So yeah, guys, I'm timing myself right now. I'm looking like I'm doing about 40 minutes each break, so I should be done with Pikachu number three. Uh, Geraldo to 250 Bowman's first should be done by by 12 o'clock and Andrew uh, Kinsner to 150 for the Cardinals Jersey Auto Keith and this is a number to 150 Alright guys, let's uh, finish off this stack here. Bregman to 99 for Houston Astros. Kobe Allard to 499 for the Indians, Nolan Jones. And Astros, Brian Abreu. Bowens first. All right, two more boxes, guys. Tebow. Tim Tebow, wow. It's really his Bowman's first are in here? The 25? That's cool. Sorry about that, Kyle. It's just, you know, we have a lot of breaks backed up. And, you know, I'm stopping for the numbered cards and, and the autos. You know, I, you know, sorry, you know, you feel that way. I know sometimes I can be a little too fast and every break could be a little too fast, but then sometimes we get people say we're a little too slow. So we kind of just try to find the middle point, but we kind of, the way we do it here, at least a little bit, is we kind of skip through the base cards, just stop for the autos. So sorry about that. I'll, I'll take it a little bit slower, but just we have a handful of breaks backed up. So we're trying to get through them as quick as possible. And then we'll have a hit recap video too at the end of the break, so. And everything ships, I believe, in this too, so. Bowman's first. Colorado Rockies. Do I think he's going to make it to the bigs? I'm not sure, actually. Uh, 
I don't I don't really follow too much of the prospects with baseball, but I think his big enough name may get him to the big leagues if he does definitely put in the work. And obviously, he has to put in some of the work, of course. I'm not just going to bring him up for nothing. Because if they would have, they would have done that already. So, yeah, guys, uh, you know, you're going to hear some banging in the background. Uh, they're working on our store, fixing up the, some issues with the roof. There's really no issues, just covering up some stuff, I believe. So, you're going to hear a little bit of banging. Um, so, if it gets a little too too loud, too strong, I may lower down my mic just a little bit. Just so, you know, the sound is kind of not too shabby, not too bad. But I definitely say if it gets a little too loud for you and your headphones or what not. Uh, Kale, uh, Cal uh, Relay to 49 for the Mariners. Uh, definitely just kind of lower it down. Uh, yes, Kyle, we also are a brick and mortar store. We had a small retail store for the last couple of years, but now we moved into a bigger location. So that's why there's people working on the location as we speak. So we can get this store up and running open by uh, the beginning of October. Four ninety nine, Muller for the Braves. And for the Yankees, Lewis Gill, Jill, Bowman's first. It's a huge autograph. And there you go, guys. That was the break. So, before I do the randomizers, let me actually show you a little quick hit recap video. So, these will be top loaded by our shipping team right now. They're going to sort it out as I finish the break. But we got a Kyle Muller for the Braves to $4.99. Uh, Oakland A's, Trannon to $4.99. Uh, Contreras to $150. Jones to $4.99. Bregman. You got uh, Toronto Blue Jays, Detroit, Perez, Yelich, Dijon, Pete Alonso to 250 rookie for the Mets, Morales, Hamilton, Mets, Detroit, Dodgers hit, Vlad to 499 refractor to 150, Sandoval for the Angels, Cano for the Mets, Kinsler to 299 or 499, sorry, Howard, Phillies. Miklas to 250 for the Cardinals. Gore, Yelich to 50 gold. Brewers, Bart, Giants, Twins, Javier, Howard, Phillies, Sheffield to 99 for Seattle. Bo Buschetti to 50. And uh, to 25, Gregory Soto, Detroit. So these are all just the colored cards. Now let's get to the autographs, guys. So here we go. We have uh, Jill Gill for the Yankees, Bowman's first. We have uh, Relay, uh, Rayleigh, I think it is, sorry, to 499 for the Seattle Mariners, Bowman's first. Feltner, Colorado Rockies, Bowman's first. Uh, Miller, San Diego Padres, Bowman's first. Tebow to 25, I don't know why this was over here. Uh, Abreu, Houston. Uh, uh, Kaisner to 150, Jersey Auto. Miller refracted a 499 for the Padres. Uh, McKenna, uh, Baltimore Orioles, and then you have Olivia, Oliva, for the Pirates. You have Ortiz for the Dodgers. Bowman's first. Uh, Vladimir, uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Gold rookie refractor autograph, which is awesome. Then you have uh, Kofstein, Blue Jays. Bowman's first. Uh, Mike S for the uh, Reds, Bowman Chrome autograph. A gold, Marquez to 50, Bowman's first for the Cubs. Hernandez for KC. Irvin for the Phillies. You got Washington Nationals, Bork. Javier for the Houston Astros. 
Astudillo from the Twins, and another Twins hit, John. Uh, what is that? Jodan Duran. There you go. There you go, folks. That was uh, Bowman Chrome Pikachu number one, 12 box hobby case break. Coming up next is number two. Now let's quickly switch scenes, and we'll do the randomizer for hundred dollars in break credit. Uh, Kyle, I'll get to your question right now, buddy. Just let me uh, just do this really quick, and I can answer as well. But thank you, John, for helping helping out. So in Pikachu team number one, we're going to give you $100 in break credit. All you had to do was buy two teams in this break, and you get one entry. You buy four, you get two entries. You buy six, you get three entries. Customer number one gets the $100 in break credit, it looks like. So here it is. Brian, you only got one spot. Cody with two, so you got one entry. Conrad, you got two, you got one entry. Daniel, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is three entries. D Mac with two, you got one entry. Emma with two, you have one entry. E A with two, you got one entry. Jeremy Tillman with one. Josh Proust, you have two, you got one entry. One, Keith, two, Kenneth, Kyle, Lewis, Robert, Robert Throne, Rory, Rex. So there you go. So from Cody down to Keith, put you in a randomizer. Customer number one gets $100 in break credit. And let's roll it. And there's a two and a six. Eight times good luck. Number one gets 100 bucks. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Eight times. Keith T at the top. So you're gonna get hundred dollars in break credit, and I'll send that to y'all to you as quick as possible. So let me write this down really quick. And there you go, guys. That was the break. So coming up next, uh, Hobby Picker Team number two, guys. Appreciate it.